going to leave the engine running just for a minute, just to uh, let them batteries charge up. Is it on? Hi, morning, Pat. I'm Maria. <laughs> How are you, right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Good. Yeah. So, the lesson, we've got um, the test coming up soon. Yeah, Is that right? How many weeks? And, four four weeks. weeks and two days. So, how do you feel about everything going so far? And the um, lesson last week? I thought uh, a lot of it was good. Yeah, what were you uh, not so happy with? Um, you said I was a bit um, hesitant at junctions and roundabouts. Okay, so how do you feel about that hesitancy? Uh, a bit worried. A bit worried. So on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being needing lots of help, 10 being pleased with, how would you put yourself on that scale? A bit of 4. A 4. Okay, so we'd like to work on the hesitancy today. Is that what you, Would you like to spend more attention on that? I think we should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I would like to work so on So what that. would you like to aim to be at by the end of this lesson? <laughs> like eventually you get to 10. <laughs> of course, but today... So we've got four weeks to go, so if you think we do it gradually, what would you like to be today? Uh, I'm going to do my best to get the 10. Okay, fine. Well, that's what we shall aim for then. So, are you ready to start off? Right, so, just out of roll a minute. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's important to, st uh, uh, to establish... Um, what we're going to do? No, how much help uh, I require. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so how much... So how much help would you like with that, Tony? Um, could you prompt me? I can prompt you. Yeah. I find the difficulty is with being riding a motorbike uh, for two years. Mm-hmm. Initially when we started I was going too early because on a motorbike I can get out a lot quicker. Yes. Um, and then you kind of pulled me back a bit and now I seem to be waiting too long. So what are the dangers of going too early? Oh yeah, I was making people slow down, wasn't I? Okay, yeah, so you're forcing people to slow down, yeah. aren't you, at junctions or roundabouts? Yeah. So, and what are the dangers of hesitating too long? Um, holding people up, isn't it? You're holding people up at the back? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Frustrating people behind you? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good subject, so we can work on that today. Right, so we're back in Rome now. Um, yeah, so how are you going to help me? So, how about if I prompt you when you're coming up to junctions, roundabouts? Would you like prompting? Yeah. Would that be a help to you? And then when we feel that you're doing that okay, I'll pass that over to you when you feel more confident. Right, I'm just a little bit worried I won't get it wrong. Well, you might get it wrong to start with, but what's, what is it you're particularly worried about? Going off too quickly or too slowly? A bit of both, but getting it, try to get a bit of both. Well, that's what we work on yeah, today. I'm still a bit worried about getting it wrong. Okay, well, if I prompt you and lead you up to the junctions, and then after you've had that a few times, then you'll find that you'll be doing it better? Yeah, if I get it wrong, I might go out too early and cause an accident, won't I? Well, then I'll make you stop until you do, until we feel you're ready to go ahead. Oh, you would, would you? Yeah, well, I'll tell you to stop, won't oh, I? I okay. won't tell you not to stop. Mm. Okay, so if we come up to a junction, what's, what should you be doing as you're approaching a junction? Looking. Looking. So you should be scanning, shouldn't you, right and left. S what else should you be doing? Getting ready. Well, you've got to get ready. You've got to ease off your accelerator, haven't you? Ease off on the speed as you come up to a junction. You're not going into it too fast so that you can scan in time to see. If you have to stop, you have to stop. Yeah. Okay, so if you're coming up to a roundabout, say, you scan to the right. If it's completely clear, as you've slowed down, if you feel it's ready to go, then you can go. If not, you have to stop and wait. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So would you like um, to set yourself up? You asked me some questions last week. What were those questions about? Uh, responsibility or something. Okay, so who's the responsibility? In the car, so the seat belts, for example. Oh, you said I'm responsible for everybody inside this vehicle. So you're responsible for you and me at this stage. What about outside the vehicle? Um, oh, I'm responsible for everybody on the road. You're responsible for everybody on the road, yes. 
because we don't want to cause any damage to anybody, you, me, or anyone else. I had a bit of practice with, uh, a bit of private practice with uh, my wife during the week, mm -hmm. and um, my brother-in-law came along, and he's um, he's quite a big lad, and um, I found that made a difference to the car. What difference did it make to the car? Do you think? Um, I found that um, I was stalling to begin with. You were stalling, so. Yeah. I don't think he'd have made your car stall, but what would difference would he have made to your car? Or if you had a full load of passengers, what's, what's the, the difference that it would make? Heavier. The car would feel a lot heavier and sluggish, so what should you do in I order to prevent that? should have given more gas, I think. No, what you should do is check your tyre pressures when you have a full load of vehicle and put a little bit more oh, air in your tyres. Yeah. So yeah. you've done that as well? Yeah. Okay, well then maybe you should give it a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I found when I was braking, it wasn't it wasn't slowing down as quick as it normally does. So you need to be a bit firmer on the brakes because of the weight. The I'll weight brake load. Harder. Brake harder because the weight load is dispersed. Yeah, so. Is it brake harder? No, it's slowed down the gears, isn't it? Brake earlier. Brake earlier. Okay. What happened? If we're still out of road. What would what would happen if we broke harder? Uh, it surprised everybody else behind us yeah, as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So you give no warning. Yeah. So. You need to brake earlier in order for the brake to yeah. be slower and more progressive. But I, I did, I did check around. You did check around because he was sitting behind me, and I made sure he had his um, <coughs> his seatbelt on and his um, headrest adjusted. Okay, good. Okay, so the the main thing is, if you have the heavier load in the car, you need to brake earlier so that it's more progressive, so that you've got time to warn vehicles behind you as well that you're slowing down, yeah. and then you can stop more cleanly and easily without a big jerk to a stop. Yeah, I know it's when I was going around bends it felt a bit weirder as well. It's kind of gone, felt heavier on one side. It felt heavier on one side, well yeah. that's the dispersion of the weight isn't it? Oh, right. yeah. Okay. So should I get myself ready? You can get yourself ready and set yourself up. It's very hot. Yeah, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, you're on my lesson. Okay, then. Let's hop it down today, eh? Yeah, all done. Okay, all done? Yeah. Alright then, well, when you're ready? Yeah, I've done all the mirrors. I'll watch you do all the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, the seat's all adjusted. Yeah, I can see everything. You've got the picture, what can you see in your door mirrors? Yeah, I can't see much in the door mirrors, but I have the door handles where I normally have them. Okay both sides because the hedge behind me. Okay, the hedge is blocking the view. Square the whole back window. That's good. Okay? Yeah. And the headrest okay? Are they headrests or, or head restraints? Head restraints. Yeah, I read that in the book journal. Head restraints, yeah. very sorry. Um. What's that noise? Turn right out of the parking bay. If you'd like to turn right out of the parking bay. It's not your phone, is it? No. And we're going to turn left at the end. I'm going to turn left at the end. Okay, what mirrors should you have checked, Tony? I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay. That's my fault then. Should I go? You should go. Don't you think you should go now? Definitely think you should go. Now that was a prime example. What? Did you need to hesitate that long? Not too sure. Really. Not too sure. Was there anything coming in either direction? I had to stop to look, didn't I? You had to stop to look, but did you? Could you? Just you stop in the left. Yeah. So would you? Can you stop in the left, in a suitable place, just over here, just to the left here? Just that roll. Mm -hmm. It's really important you watch me, isn't it? It is, I wasn't watching you yeah. with. You know one of the one of the very important <laughs> skills of a driving instructor is yes, listening. Quiet. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. No. Not be quiet, but listen. <laughs> yeah? Um Yeah, you said I didn't check my mirrors. Mm -hmm. But I did. Okay. But what did I not do on approach? You didn't scan the uh, junction. Yeah, I came right to the white line, stopped. And then start looking. It's an open junction there, isn't it? Yep. 
so you should have seen a lot earlier if yeah. you could go. You need to be watching a lot more, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Should I drive on? Yep. So before you pull off, Tony, just wait there one second. What else do you need to check apart from the door mirror and the central mirror? Oh, yeah, the blind spot. The blind spot, right, yeah. Well done. Should we use that in a motorbike, shouldn't we? You should. Roundabout, we're going to be turning left. Okay, so at the roundabout, we're going to turn left. So what do you need to be doing as you approach the roundabout, Tony? Check all my mirrors. Check all your mirrors. Okay, and what else should you be doing? Looking. Looking. Okay, where should you be looking, sir? Shall I stop? You need to stop, Tony. Yes. Now what should you be doing? Do you need to go or stop? Yeah. You can go, exactly. So how do you, could you tell the difference that you could go then? Nobody coming after him. There was no one coming after him, so he hadn't reached the junction at all, had he, the car that was approaching? And if you just stop on the left. So if you'd like to just stop on the left. So out of roll. Yep. Is the examiner on the day of the test going to tell me, um, can I ask him, shall I go or shall I wait? Is he going to tell me? No. When I pass my test, hopefully in a, in four weeks and two days, and I've got nobody sitting beside me, how am I going to make this judgment? You've got to make the judgment for yourself. And so what would be a, a better answer when I said to you, shall I go? What do you think, Tony? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you ask it in good time, it's what we call Q&A, yeah. if you ask it in good time, then if I give you the wrong answer, you've got a chance to come in, haven't you? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. I need a signal. Okay. Oh, to go around the front but, cars. Yeah, but, yeah. but when you pass them, what yeah, I never quite understand when you say good. I, I never you know what you're referring to. What's approaching up on ahead and here, we're going to turn left. We're going to turn left ahead here, Tony. What's, what can you see? Around the bed. Okay, so what should you be doing? Uh, looking. Looking, scanning. I can't see very much. And should you go or should you stop, Tony? Um, well, I have to do with that peep and creep here. So do you think you need to do peep and creep there? I couldn't see around that bend, could you? Was there anyone waiting at the junction in any way? I couldn't see around that bend. You couldn't see around that yeah. bend? I know for a fact I'm riding a motorbike and... That they come charging around that bend? Well, I would come charging around, but I was doing 30 mile an hour. Okay. I've had people uh, pull out in front of me that around a bit. Okay, that's good then. Just out of road. Remember, I can only see what you can see, can I? Yep. do 30 along here when they've got the speed bumps. Are you meant to do 30, did yeah. you say? What do you think you're supposed to do when they've got the speed bumps? Well, the speed limit's 30, isn't it? The speed limit's 30, but what's the point of the speed bumps? Calm the traffic. To calm the traffic. And we're going to turn right. right. And we're going to turn right at the end to slow you down. So what's an appropriate use of speed where there's speed humps? Let's just do with this first. I can't mm -hmm. move it down. Okay, can you see? Yeah. Now, do you think that you should have waited there, or do you think you should have gone? So what are you doing? It was a 50-50. what right? about now? I yeah? Know. I was kind of listening to you talking about speed bumps. You were, so I was distracting you, so... For some reason, I just can't multitask. Yeah. <laughs> I could say something there, but I won't. Um, when you're going, when you're coming up to the roundabout yeah, there. When you get paid at the end of the lesson. 
<laughs> so at the at the roundabout as you came up to approach that roundabout there was there anyone coming when you were ready to go was there anyone at the roundabout at all from the right or coming from your left I got there left? and looked you got there and looked but do you think you waited too long do you think you could have gone a little bit quicker than that mm. I couldn't you know when I get there look and then I better tell it and you turning right turning right at the roundabout here now I don't want you to look when you get there I want you to be looking on the way so what do you have here oh pedestrian good just look to the right yeah so look well the car can come from the left round to the right and look from the right so the car coming around will block mm. so do you think you could go then no no what about now mm, no no good so you tell me when you think it's clear to go. If he's turning, I'd probably go. Yeah, that's <clears throat> right, you can go. On my motorbike, I would have gone ages ago. Well, that's partly because you have the speed. <clears throat> you could have gone earlier with the car before the three were coming across. Could I? So if you have a car that's turning left, does that mean you can go if you see turning them? Left. So you're turning left at the end here. So I'd like you to scan earlier, Tony, and look to see when the cars are coming. So. Should you go or should you stop? I think he's turning. So, yes, you should go. Good. So that one was better. Was it? No. So why do you think that one was better? I looked earlier. You looked a lot earlier, yes. So you need to look a lot earlier at any roundabouts or junctions. <laughs> I meant that bit of the field. So it's scanning now. Anything coming? Yeah. So good. So what should you be doing now? What could you have done then? Oh, I suppose I could have gone. So that's a car that's blocking. There's another Is that blocker. A shield. So that's like a shield, isn't it, against okay, so anything coming from the right? So good. Much better. So there was a blocker earlier on. What does the blocker do? It stops the traffic coming from the right. It stops the traffic, anyone coming from the right, so you can make use of the blocker and you can go. Because they're blocking everything, aren't they, coming? So as soon as you see them heading to turn off just before you, that's timing for you to go and get ahead, get on. So look out for your blockers. It's in such a hurry now, isn't it? Everybody is in a hurry. <laughs> on the test date, you know, make allowances for the fact that... What, you, you should sit and wait longer? Yeah, I'll be safe. You won't be safe. That not, doesn't necessarily mean you're safe, does it, waiting? Because the cars behind you, they're also going to be looking ahead. So they're going to be getting frustrated. Is that a roll? Mm -hmm. Is there any chance I could have answered that question myself? Could have done, couldn't you? And we're going to follow the road straight and we're going to go straight across, straight ahead. So... I think I can go there. Good, you can go. That's getting better. So what are the dangers if you hesitate too long at the roundabout again, Tony? Uh, the cars behind might be looking earlier than me. And uh, they might um, think it's safe to go and run in the back of that's your new car. That's exactly it. Thirty years ago, that exactly happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You told me you're only twenty-five. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> You've been lying to me. I've been fibbing, little porky pie. <laughs> so, what do you see coming up ahead of this oh, queue of traffic? Go. We're going to turn right. So, we're going to turn right at the roundabout that you just just. And what's just before the roundabout? Uh, an uncontrolled crossing. Uncontrolled crossing. Okay, good.
so the crossing that's sorry nothing so the crossing was clear as you saw so what's happening now shield good excellent so there's another one you're telling me about these because I don't know which spot I'm doing. Not necessarily, no. Right. So I want you to turn right at the turning here. The examiners tell you when this cross is coming up, don't they? <laughs> no, they don't. They don't know. Just follow the natural course of the road that's around to the right. Left. Okay, left at the end, please. So, what do you need to do here? What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. Look. You do need to look. one to scan across I'm that junction. Hold back here. Good. Excellent. At the junction right and roundabout left. At the junction I want you to turn right and just ahead of that there'll be a roundabout where I want you to turn left. Okay so is it... Shall I go? Do you think you should? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good. So you're getting better at these. So at the roundabout left. Now, should you go or should you stop? Uh, no, I can't go there. You can't go, good. I think you have got that great big black thing. So. Should you go or stop? Good. I can go there, I've got a shield. You've got a shield, so good, so. And then you have to be careful there. So the big black car that was coming round, that was well done there because it could have been... Well, my examiner would be really helpful like you and tell me to be careful there. With what? The roundabout? Yeah, no, with the bikes. No. But I'm being helpful. So shall I stop being helpful? Sorry? I need to stop being helpful, don't I? I thought I was pretty good with um, anticipation. You did very well there, because the big black car was coming all the way around the roundabout. Yeah, I meant with the bikes. With the bikes? Yeah. You were pretty good then. Were you going too fast? Sorry? You were fine then. No, but you told me you had to be careful. Okay, why did I tell you to be careful? So what would be the reason to be careful there, and at the turning roundabout, about. we're turning right? Well I had spotted the bikes, so uh, I checked my mirror and uh, I kept an eye on them. Good. All the way around the roundabout, back down So to the what side. do you need to do now? Do you need to go or do exit you need to stop? Exit number four. I'm going to keep going here. You're going exit number four, all the way around? All the way around the roundabout to exit number four, please, Tony. Yeah, this looking nearly really okay, helps, isn't it? Much better. And good use of mirrors on the roundabouts.
And should you stay or should you go? No, I'm going to go. Good. So they're getting much better. You're not hesitating as long now, are you? No. Much better. So do you want me to hand over the responsibility to you, to them? Or do you uh, think you still need some help? We're going to stop on the left. Okay. When you find a safe place, I'd like you to stop on the left. Just ignore the entrance room. So if you just ignore the entrance to this for now. Right, so that Rob. Yeah, you realise I was starting to get the hang of it there. Yep. Be a little bit careful about that. Handing it. Tell, tell, tell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um. Got to get used to that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I've got to get used to that. I didn't worry you with the bikes, did I? No. Yeah, if you're over controlling, you're you're taking me backwards, not forwards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My confidence has gone down and down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you just asked me, do I want to take responsibility? Um, a better way of putting that across would be how much help do you want from me now at these roundabouts? Yeah, that would be better. And these junctions? Yes. Okay. So how much help would you like from We're me back now? back in line. Yeah? So, Tony, how much help would you like from me now from those roundabouts and junctions? I'd like to try on my own. So I think you're doing a lot better, so I think you're ready to try on your own, yes. Yeah, so we're kind of making a, a contract between the two of us here, yeah? Okay. You need, a, you need to put a get-out clause in, don't you? I do. What's the get-out clause? So the get-out clause is um, that I hand you the responsibility, but I say, but if I feel that um, you might be going ahead too soon or too long, I will stop you. Yeah, either verbally or Either physically. verbally or by the use of the pedals. Okay. So okay. I'll try me on, yeah? So you can try on your own right. as long as you're aware that if I do need to stop you, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I've been very well behaved. Sorry? I've been very well behaved. I'll just read just that. Okay, back in roll. Okay, so when you're ready, I want you to do your checks. The exam will tell me that morning. But I'm not in your ex you're not in your exam today. So should I remind you or should I not? It's quite wrong. Yep. Why should you remind me? I should remind you if you don't do them to encourage you to do them every time. Yeah, so you're, t you're, you're actually telling me where to look. Okay, so am I not supposed to do that now? What do you think? Obviously not. I should say to you, where should you be looking? No, just tell me to drive on. Just tell you to drive on? And watch me. And watch you, and if you don't do your checks, tell you that you didn't do your checks. Well, if I try and move off without checking the blind spot, what would you say? Stop. Yeah. Okay.
right. At the roundabout, I want you to turn right. That's the third exit. Stop the search, eh? So, do you want to turn to the right, Tony? So, that was an immediate reaction for me. What do you think I did that, Tony? Yeah, I don't know why you've done that, to be honest with you. You don't know why I did that? No. So, so, you scanned from the right, that was yeah, perfect. I but did from, see the silver car. Did you saw the silver the car? Gas? Yeah. But are you going to just lift off the gas or are you going to touch a bit of brakes as well? Uh, I didn't want to uh, brake too hard because of the vehicle behind me. Okay, but if, yeah. you, if you lift off the gas, it's going to slow, but it might not slow enough. So you're going to have to touch your brakes just a little bit, go down the pound, the depth of the pound just a little bit down to slow down a little bit more. So do you not think that would have been advisable? I don't think I would have hit that car. You don't think you would have hit that no. car? So, um, okay. you didn't think you were going a little bit quick? No. So, I thought you were going a little bit Round quick. Around a bit. Yeah, a bit break happy there, weren't you? Out of roll. I was a little bit. Okay. I was a little bit. I eased off. Um, Enough. I, I wasn't getting anywhere near him, was I? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, be, be very careful that you know what's happening behind you before you... Um, Do that. Hit the brake that hard, yeah? Okay. Yep. That wouldn't do my confidence a lot of good, would it? No. Okay. Yeah, so, can I just ask you a question? When you were driving via part two, would you have done exactly what I'd done there? I don't know. Probably. But maybe a bit slower. Slow. Maybe not. He came out in front of me at the very last second, yeah? He did. That was I, what did it. I he came out off. in the last I second. I off. Should, uh, uh, should I overreact then? No. You huh? shouldn't overreact, no. Because of the power behind you. Well, I don't. I didn't need to um, overreact. Take any more action there, did I? Okay. Uh, I knew he was there. Um, if he had have stopped just slightly ahead of me, I could have stopped the car quite nicely. Okay. I wasn't doing 95 mile an hour, was I? No, you weren't. Yeah. That was like a knee jerk. <laughs> car mm -hmm. crazy. <laughs> Let me just um, give you the cameras, please. Just relax. We're out rolling. Thank you. 